Welcome back, I'm Hannah Vanderkoy and here's your entertainment update. Three years ago at the MTV Music Awards, Kanye West surprised Taylor Swift on stage. This year he managed to surprise everyone else by nabbing the most nods from who many thought would be Adele. The 2012 Grammy nominations have been released and it was a big night for Canadians as Drake and Deadmau5 walked away with three nods apiece. To no one's surprise, Adele is nominated for six, including Album of the Year and Song of the Year, but Kanye managed to receive seven nods, including two in the Best Rap Album category and one for Song of the Year. The Foo Fighters, Bruno Mars, and Lil Wayne are keeping Adele company with six nominations each. Nicki Minaj is up for Best New Artist, and Katy Perry is in the running for Album of the Year. The 2012 Grammy Awards will take place on February 12th. Somebody's going to make you laugh real hard. Russell Peters will host his first Christmas special tonight on CTV. A Russell Peters Christmas promises to be part variety telethon, part sketch comedy show, and part live performance. The special has Canadian guest appearances from Pamela Anderson, playing an ironic role as the Virgin Mary, Michael Bublé, and more. Count them, one, two, three, four. Feist is back with her fourth studio album, and she's kicking off her international world tour tonight in Toronto. The Canadian singer released her album, Medals, in September. Feist received international attention after Apple used one of her songs from the previous album in an iPod commercial. She also received three Grammy nods in 2008. Tonight's concert at Massey Hall marks one of only four Canadian tour dates. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's the most expensive comic book ever sold. A rare copy of, the, of a comic book featuring the first appearance of Superman sold for over $2 million. The first issue of Action Comics, which was only 10 cents when released in 1938, sold in an online auction. This is the first time a comic book has sold for this much money. 90s teen heartthrobs Hanson have decided to take their career in a completely new direction. 14 years after Mbop, the Hanson brothers plan to give us Mhop. The trio has announced they will be entering the adult beverage market to make their own beer. The band already runs their own independent music label and their own Hanson branded clothing and accessories. That's it for entertainment. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Hannah. That's all for Humber News for today. Thanks for joining us. I'm Maureen Khan. And I'm Colin Ellis. Humber News is written and produced by journalism students at the North Campus. You can also catch us online at mediaservices.humber.ca. We'll see you next time.